So then after you've washed them, gotten any bad parts out, I usually cut them up in maybe quarters. If it's a big tomato, I'll cut it uh, in smaller pieces than that. Put them in this pot. And um, I, don't know, I guess this is probably a 16 quart pot maybe. And then we'll start to, uh, uh, simmering them to make it break down and release this juice because today we're making tomato juice. Once your tomatoes have simmered to the point where they become soft, now you don't actually want to boil them, just simmer them until they get soft so they'll go through the food mill. And so now we're ready to start with the food mill operation. And so here's the food mill set up over a pan. And uh, what we'll do is we'll dip the tomatoes, pour them into the food mill, turn it, and uh, extract the juice. So here we have uh, a couple of scoops of tomatoes in the food mill. A lot of juice is running out the bottom. But in order to extract the rest of the juice, you begin to turn this. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Using both hands it'll go better, but this just shows you how it works. Now you see the seed starting to come out at the bottom. So all of the seed and the skins will come out at the bottom. Once in a while you want to back it up this way. And then continue turning. And you can hear the juice and see the juice running out at the bottom. And once in a while you have to take a spoon and move those tomatoes that it gets on top, move them back over. And you do that until you extract the juice, dump that pulp out and put in some more. So now we've got all the juice extracted. We've got a thermometer probe in it here. We're going to bring it up to 190 degrees. We do not want to boil it. We're going to bring it up till this indicates 190. Right now we're at 161. And also, while you're heating this, you need to stir it periodically so that it's uniformly heated throughout. Your probe might be indicating that it's 190, but that might just be a warm spot in your pot. So you need to stir it a little bit. We got our juice up to 190. Put in a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Fill the jar up to the proper line. Take a paper towel. Wipe the ridge good. The rim. Take our hot lid lifter, which is nothing more than a magnet. Put it on the jar. And we get a ring and put it on and tighten it down. That'll be it. This is my setup for doing the hot water bath. We got a propane tank. We got a two burner cooker. We got an oblong tub. And this batch is just about finished. Twenty-one pints, ready to get them out of here and take them in the house.